What is up guys and welcome back. So at the start guys, turn around and head up here. We are in downtown and we're going to do the hard get there gap. So at first I thought I would be able to launch over this gap and in line with the car and it just didn't work out because the bench is right there as well. And I figured out that you only need the cheese gap, which is the small gap on the side right over here. So let's have a look at this run now. So cheese gap into um, acid drop, revert manual, then keeping your balance. <laughs> Easier said than done. This was a really difficult one because the ending is just a mad rush and you kind of just have to go with the flow making sure your fingers know what to push but uh, otherwise it's insanely difficult it seems easy but it's just absolutely not easy right guys let's break this down in super slow mode i love this slow mode okay so as you can see i'm using the small side of the gap the cheesy gap spamming r2 right now to get the acid drop spamming r2 again to get the revert and then manual straight away this gives you enough time to head towards the car, which you need to ollie and manual straight away again. And once you land, once again, the whole keeping a direction while you're in a manual is very difficult. This is very important, guys. You need to try and get an extra trick on this rail because you most likely won't have enough speed. If you do, fine. But I thought doing an extra trick on that rail helped me a lot. And then trying to ollie towards the right, trying to line yourself up with that ramp. As you can see, once again, I was right on the cusp over there. And trying to direct yourself while keep balance is just so difficult. So you have to launch over this ramp. I didn't do it perfectly, but I went over the other one, which is fine. I got the kicker gap right there. And you can check the description for the exact gaps. Now this rail here, get on this as soon as you possibly can. Because you need to get off it as soon as you possibly can. To give you enough time, I just turned at the end there to aim for this ramp. And then launch on the top. So there we have it guys this one took about 30 35 attempts i would say in the end and remember if you're having trouble with any trophies you can email me from the description and i can help you get those tricky trophies and the tricky platinum so guys i want to say thank you so much for watching and i want to catch you on the next one